what is going on guys and welcome to the chicano podcast today we have a a very interesting topic that i want to talk about um the question here is what i want to know is uh how would you guys react to this type of event if it would hurt if it were to happen to you so in texas um three men are accused of killing uh or beating a man to death um for sexually abusing their little their youngest sister the nine-year-old sister so two of these guys are the are the, the trevino brothers um so it's two brothers and one of the homie um the little sister told the brothers that the stepdad had been uh, molesting her and sexually abusing her so these two brothers and this guy the homie they ended up beating this man at first the the two brothers that beat the beat the brakes off the stepdad's ass in the house they ended up chasing him to to uh an apartment pom- complex nearby where the homie melendez joined them to beat the stepdad's ass and so they ended up beating him uh two times right there they ended up getting him into a truck or into a car, I believe. Um, and they ended up taking him to a farm where they dumped the the 42 year old man, the stepdad, and beat his ass again. So they left him there to to die. You know what I mean? They left him for dead. And so they ended up a farmer ended up finding this older man, and he died. So here my my situation or my my question to you guys is what would you how would you have handled handle all this would you have beaten the shit out of this man and killed him or would you have called the cops what do you think is the the right thing to do um there is also a gofundme um a gofundme for these guys to be released <laughs> how would you guys have handled it me personally I think these guys did the right thing. Um, I, I think there's no room for for people that are going to be sexually abusing kids in this world. Um, they actually went through with it. They 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 have no remorse. Um, I I don't think me personally I would I wouldn't have let that man outside the house for escape outside the house you know what i mean i think i would have killed him inside the house i think i would have done the same thing that they would have done because i feel that your emotions get the worst out of you and and something like this is very crazy something like this is is, this man was sick but i still see the two sides of this coin where where people could be like you know what you should just call the cops let the 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 courts do this let let the the government um intervene and give them classes or whatever but but i feel like in a situation like this it's been proven where where the sexual abuser gets a little slap in the hand these guys don't get no time these guys get probation they they're still out there in the world they they just have to register as sex offenders and stuff like that like you know what i mean i i think the, it, a lot of the time they don't punish these guys as as they should um but what do you guys think would you guys have handled it different comment in the section below um i think the i think these guys did a good job you know what i mean i i know for a fact that they're gonna end up doing at, at least 25 years for killing this man and because right there where this takes a, a big shake is that not only did they beat his ass once but they ended up beating him three times so that's with intent you know what i mean that's not just oh you went crazy or whatever you let your emotions take care of you or whatever like take a hold of you but you, you did it three times so you beat his ass they beat him with brass knuckles so so they had the time to get the brass knuckles and beat his ass you know what i mean so th- this was this was intended you know what i mean it was malicious but i see why they did it you know what i mean should they do 25 years Mm. i mean maybe 10 
10 would be, you know what I mean? You killed somebody defending your, your little sister. And what sucks is that you took it into your own hands. You know what I mean? You took justice and, and handled it yourself. But at the end of the day, you also committed murder. You know what I mean? Um... What do you guys think? You guys think they should just call the cops? Because the cops, by the time they get there, by the time they just arrest the guy, they go on probation. I mean, uh, should certain rules um, change also? Like, like if you're a sexual abuser, should you be sentenced to a higher, to a higher, two more years, or or should you, should you, should there be harsher sentences? For, for people that are sexual abusers? I bet you if there was a, a harder, a harsher sentencing for this man, like let's say you're put away for 20 years if you're doing stuff like that, then then even these guys maybe would have been like, you know what, that's, that's what he deserves. He deserves all this time in jail and we'll keep him out of the streets. Because a lot of times sexual abusers will do two years, five years, whatever, you know what I mean? If that, and they'll be released, and all you have to do is sign in and probation, all this shit. But just you're still out. You know what I mean? You're still out. You're still a, a danger to the community. But I think this is a very interesting topic. Go ahead, guys, and comment and reply, or comment, and I'll reply to you guys. Tell me what you guys think. Um, the third, the third homie joined in and and. Fucked up the dad. You know what I mean, I think I, as a friend, even as a, you know what I mean, that's that's just a human being thing to do. You know what I mean? Beat his ass, maybe not kill him, but if an older man is taking advantage of a little girl like that. That's tough. That's tough. Chicano out.